Hello, I'm Femi O'Kay and this is Inside Africa, your weekly look at life and news on the continent. Coming to you this week from the Innovation Hub in Pretoria is actually South Africa's first science park. So here there are a collection of businesses involved in information computer technology, biosciences technology, research and development. In fact, I'm feeling smarter just walking around here. Our show this week is all about staying in touch. So we will be highlighting some of those cutting edge projects that help keeping Africans connected. We start in Liberia with an unusual partnership between the Liberian government and some American students who are very keen to help the country recover after its civil war. So our story begins in Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm delighted to acknowledge an emerging set of ICT collaboration between tech and Liberia. President Ellen Johnson Salif of Liberia visiting the Georgia Institute of Technology last year. The president calls visits like this hustling for her country as she appeals for help to bring Liberia up to speed. Kip, Edom, Ilan and Daraj are answering that appeal. All grad students at Georgia Tech, their enterprising professor, sent them to Liberia to work. This is how Liberia has been devastated by the war. Most of the buildings are in inhabitable. Shooting video might not be the team's strong point, but as they set to work studying Monrovia's telecommunications, they got a very clear picture of how Liberians cope with the challenge of everyday life. What got me was because a lot of people don't have power, they have a mobile phone, but they have no way to charge it. So one example is there was a hair salon um, that advertised get your hair cut and charge your phone. Yeah, I went out to do some survey in the night, and I saw these kids who were studying. Because they had no light at home to study, they came on the street side and they were studying under the street lights. Kip and Edom were collecting information about the state of mobiles, computers and internet connections in Liberia. So when President Johnson Salif is looking for investors, she has something on paper to show them. I therefore wish to start a dialogue with you on how the knowledge, products, services, and promise of information and communication technologies can advance and accelerate our national reconstruction process. After three weeks in Monrovia, the grads got a sense of what it was like to live in a country recovering from conflict. Not much electricity, no hot water, sometimes no water, and no air conditioning. I got involved just because I wanted to help Liberia develop. Georgia Tech students are still working in Liberia. Their professor, Dr. Michael Best, tells me it would cost the government thousands if the work was done by a private consultant. But Liberia gets the expertise for free. I'd say thank you to 2C for helping us out with the music for that report. 